www.decibets.com Tell us a little bit briefly about yourself, your birthplace, your background. First of all, I'd like to say a warm welcome to all the Dead Sea Bliss viewers. We are Paris Hasrigal. We're from a musical family, you know, my father used to sing as well. More the Kavishri style, Joe Sadak, Punjab, the style, Tad Sarangirina, Yak Kavishri, Bagar Sajanto without instruments. So he's into that, uh, the old style of music, you know. And then uh, my brother, he set his band up in a. Uh, 19, maybe 79, 80, you know, in the Mana group. He had uh, released uh, maybe about 15 albums, including devotional albums, uh, Punjabi, folk, and Pongra albums. So, uh, bringing up in a musical family, you know, always like, uh, you can see all these instruments here, that's how it was. What about your, your birthplace? Were you, are you UK born and, 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 your, and your parents, were they, were they always behind you on this? Yes, yes, like I said, because my dad, he loved music, so did my brother, so it wasn't a problem for me. I was born in Birmingham, Hansworth, you know. And I'd like to thank all my school friends and all the people who supported me and please at Hansworth B21. It's all good. Who was your ustad and uh, what instruments uh, did you learn? My ustad is Jeet Singh Matlashi Ji. Uh, I'd like to thank him daily you know, for his teachings. He's teaching me so much. And um, first I used to learn off his brother Kaldeep Singh Matharu Ji. Then he took me to uh, uh, Matlashi Ji. And I've been learning for many years now. Uh, the harmonium. I started off on the tabla. Uh, and I learned the toll as well because we had uh, my friends, you know, at school and we made a CQ's service Pangra team, you know. And then I learned the toll of uh, Lal Singh Bhatti, who's in America now, so I'd like to thank him daily as well. So these are the my mentors, my teachers, you know. Can you tell me how did the transition happen to uh, from, from a toll player to, to a music producer? Basically, like I started off as a musician, you know, Tabla, Tolak, Tol. I played a lot of Tol in a lot of albums, you know, uh, with the um, Balwinda Safri, Punjab, BMCB, 20, a lot of uh, Saki and the Tol was there, you know, I played with, so, with these great people, you know, and these great artists. And uh, and then I started just going into studios, you know, when you go in the studios and you're checking out what's going on technically, because you you got to know what's going on technically you now to be in this, in this game, you know, because it's all computerized now. But before... It was more hardcore, old school, you know. So it was analog, man. Everything live. That's the, the this time I started, you know. So you, if you didn't know how to play an instrument, you couldn't really do nothing in the studio. Now it's quite easy, you know. You don't even know too much about music. You can put the notes in, you know, slowly, whatever. The keyboard, and just speed it up, whatever. But at that time, you had to know how to play an instrument, man. If you want to go in the studio, because there, there was no computers. So uh, started just checking, you know, uh, going to people. So that helped me a lot in my production as well and uh, in my singing because I was playing with people, good, very good artists, and I was going in the studio and checking out, you know, how does this work, man, kind of thing. It wasn't like I just went in straight away. So just checking out the studios, you know, and uh, checking out how they're recording, how they're setting the mics up, and uh, how this all done. And then I just started in '89. It was my first uh, uh, solo tape, uh, which is tall beat one, instrumental tape. Just with the folk instruments of Punjab, you know, Al Goji. Dev Raj Jassal, who had come from India at that time, uh, he played uh, Al Goji. And uh, I was, uh, when I seen uh, Dev Raj playing the Al Goji, I was so amazed, you know, with these two flutes and this guy going like this, because you're breathing and you're blowing at the same time. That's the technique of the Al Goji, you know. So uh, I brought him on the, and I asked Dev Raj, if you want to do a tape, you know, and would you play some uh, Al Goji and uh, flutes? And, and, he, and, and he says, yeah, and then we come up with that tape, the old beat, and there was a lot of old beats on the Tamal, Daria, Sayal, Koti, all these Pangra, the rhythms which are uh, based on the tool, you know, and the original, the, the patterns of the tool. Obviously, there's a lot of instruments being played on, on, on the tracks. Do you play and record all the instruments, or, or do others uh, play, play them for you? Uh, I play the keyboards and all the percussion instruments, double art, all, all, and uh, if I need some Malagoji or Thambi, Smichi or Devraji, you know. Uh, but the rest, keyboarding and uh, keyboard programming and all the Indian percussion, I play myself. When you record a song, what part actually comes first to yourself? Would you say it was the beat, or would you say it was the music, or would you say it's the singer? Not really the beats, I work more on the composition, you know, and then I work around there. I think uh, that's the main thing, you know, lyrics and the actual composition of the song and the break beats, that's, I don't think that's a big deal, you know, anyway, you can, anyone can make break beats, you know. It's the, the composition of the song and getting good lyrics, you know, getting good hooks 
and I, I think people want to hear different lyrics you know like I've tried in my previous two albums you know there was a Mela Jardi Gala which Rande and Kipo Sarta Rande Jan Jan Vanga Shinagada I will get that party and people showed me so much love for these songs and Jethi Lantron Likha Tara especially that song it got many awards all over the world you know and this album the collaborations too you know Gumsum Gumsum but great lyrics uh, from Jeet, Karan Jeet Kadawal um, so all these are lyrical meanings, you know, they got a bit of meaning to them. And try to make good compositions. Would you say that nowadays there's, you know, there's, there's too much quantity being produced, you know, a lot of people are putting out songs out there uh, versus the actual quality? But now I don't think people are getting a lot of stuff out because the companies ain't releasing, you know, in such a music's going through a bad time now, but with this downloading, you know, and I like to say all these people who go on the internet, you know, every day, they're the ones who are killing it, you know, when I'm doing this interview on, on this on the internet, I love it, you know, but when they go out and downloading the music, you know, you got these kids, man, they download the music and it takes so long to record an album, they say, then it's a load of, you know what I mean, after. <laughs> so, how's new people going to come in the scene? Because like I always say, I want new people to come in this music, man, so it's just a lovely thing, you know, so I, in my life, I've never seen nothing better than music, you know, and uh, um, I like to encourage youngsters, man, to come in this, man. It's such a beautiful thing to learn an instrument or to be a part of a musical group, you know. It's, it's so it's exciting and uh, it's so great. But, I mean, with this downloading now, it's, it, the music's coming through a very bad time and uh, I don't know what's going to happen, you know, because uh, you know, companies don't want to uh, put in money because they're not getting nothing back, you know, in new artists. So you establish your right, you know, but for a newcomer, it's very hard now. Man. You know, go and buy the original CD, man, which I think if you get about, it's a pound a song, I don't think that's a lot of money, you know. Because it's about 60 pounds for a Mars bar nowadays, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's true. Obviously, we should be supporting the artists. Obviously, yes. it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. I mean, because uh, I like to see a lot of other people, you know, I mean, coming on. A lot, a lot of young kids, they go on the computer and say, this is a load of whatever, and I, I can do this, but you can do it, you know what I mean? Go on, do it. Do it. If you can go out there and do it, you know. Yeah. But it's, it's hard work, you know I mean? It's not easy, man. It don't come overnight, man. Believe me. So, I mean, would you say that, obviously... Like I can remember back in the day, a lot of Gurdasman songs, a lot of the old classes are still remembered here today, but obviously the amount of uh, songs that are being released nowadays, would you see that has actually downgraded the quality of the songs that are coming out? Like in the olden days, there was no downloading, you know, when Gurdas, you, Kaldi, Manak, Sa, when they, when they started off, you know, and there was lyric-based songs. They'd go into the studio, you know, and they'd have the lyrics, the composition, and the, the musicians would sit down in one room over here. And you, if the song's five minutes, that's it, five minutes is done, and that's mixed everything. So when you hear them songs now, and you hear the atmosphere, that's what it was now. You know what I mean? Uh, like uh, Charanjit Hu Jasab, you know, the great uh, music director, the living legend, you know. And I asked him as well one time when I met him, I said, hey, but you, the quality that at that time, you know, of the tabla tool, can they, uh, how come you can't get it now? He said, it's all this track system, you know, and bass tops, and you don't really get the liveness, which was the atmosphere. What would you say is your favorite rag and why? And could you give us a, a, a rendition of it, please? Rag is basically notes, you know, rag is, you can, have a, you can have a rag to seven, to five notes, you know, maybe you have five notes descending and seven notes coming back, you know, so rag is a mood, uh, any notes is a mood, but for instance, Gujri, Gujri Todi, Sare ga ga re sa ni sa da ni da da ma ga re ga re sa, sare ga ga re sa. It's a different mood. You can come up with it. Sa, sa, re, ni, sa, re, ga, pa, da, ni, da, pa, ga, re, ga, re, sa. This is a blast. We can't do it. Sa, ni, sa, ga, ma, pa, pa, da, ma, pa, da, ni, da, pa, ma, pa, ga, ma, pa, ga, ma, re, sa. Da, ni, re, sa, pa, da, ni, sa, re, ga, re, ga, re, ga, ma, re, sa. Pair bhi. So, Gujri ho gaya, blast can't do it. And pair bhi. You can see these are all different moods, you know, different shades. That's what rag is, yaar. It's a mood, it's an atmosphere. Huh? You don't really pangra. You can't really show that because it's all dancing music, and right? you can have a, a bass. Uh, like I like to bass them. Jida mera apna gheet se ga. Hmm. Jame nadi na kinare. Jame ambra de tare. Idhar bari rag de bass kita. So it's all mood, you know. Sare pa ma pa ni da ni za ni pa ma pa ga ma re sa. Ne da ni za ni pa ma pa ni da ni za ni pa ma pa ga ma re sa. Bahar. And then Pairvi, which for instance people don't know Pairvi, the Yariya Banai Rakhi Yariya. Hey Pairvi, which is the Yeti Road Te Duhai. It's not a Pairvi. Mulkeet and Safi are both great singers. In your book, which one has got the slight edge over the other one? Is, is there anyone which you say that you know, this guy is better, a little bit better than the other one? 
ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹਦਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਮਲਕੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਦਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਉਹ ਫੋਕ ਟੱਚ ਦਾ ਰੇ ਸਫਰੀ ਪਾਜੀ ਮਤਲਬ ਉਹ ਵੈਸਟ ਆਲਿਆ ਉਹ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਵੀ ਗਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਗਜ਼ਲ ਵੀ ਗਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਸਟ ਪਲੇ ਵੀ ਸਫਰ ਯਾ ਨੋ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਲਟੀ ਟੈਲੈਂਟਿਡ ਆਰਟਿਸਟ ਯੋ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਕਾ ਤੇ ਓਮ ਬਾਈ ਨੋ ਮੀਨ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਕਾ ਤੇ ਓਮ ਟੋਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਕਟ ਯੋਰ ਓਮ ਟੋਨ ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਹਾਊ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਯੂਰ ਸੈਲਫ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਹਰੇਕ ਬੰਦੇ ਦੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਹੈ ਜੈਜੀ ਭਾਈ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਹੈ ਸਫਰੀ ਭਾਈ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਇਟਸ ਜਸਟ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਗਾਣਾ ਕਿਸ ਟਾਈਪ ਦਾ ਗਾਣਾ ਮਲਕੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੀ ਪਰਫਾਰਮੈਂਸ ਬਹੁਤ ਅੱਛਾ ਹੈ ਭਾਜੀ ਫਿਰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹਮ ਸ਼ੇਰ ਬਾਜੀ ਆ ਹਰਕਤ ਬਾਜੀ ਜੋ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨਾ ਸਫਰੀ ਬਾਜੀ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਇਫੀ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸੀ ਵਿਸ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਫਰਮ ਦੇ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਵਟ ਥਿਸ ਗਾਈ ਸੈਂਗ ਮੈਨ ਇਟਸ ਇਨਕ੍ਰੈਡਿਬਲ ਯੂ نو ਬ੍ਰਿਲੀਅੰਟ ਵਿਚ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਿਊਸਰਸ ਔਰ 뮤직 ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਰਸ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਪਾਸਟ ਵੁਡ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਵਰਕ ਵਿਦ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਡਿਡ ਨਾਟ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਗੈਟ ਅ ਚਾਂਸ ਟੂ ਵਰਕ ਵਿਦ ਵੈਲ ਅਲਾਕਾ ਸਰ ਲਾਈਕ ਚਰਨਜੀਤ ਹੁਜਾ ਯੂ نو ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ 뮤직 ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਰ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਲੈਜੈਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਖਜਾਨ ਸੀ ਦੀਪ ਖਜਾਨ ਸੀ نو my favorite music actor from uk you know love his stuff what he done back in the day that you know there was quite a few, it was all live wasn't it and nowadays yeah. it seems to be fading you know, out because people want to see live music man i think that maybe there uh, is too much dj and they, they want a different change you know which is live is a, is a, a different atmosphere at the time that's what it's about man if you got a party and you got a live group that atmosphere is different than one when you got a dj how do you rate yourself as a singer it is called competition the hell you know you do the best what you think man you understand it's like you how you're going to rate yourself you just do what you better can man i'm trying to better myself every time that's what it's about man this with music you know there's no competition because there's always someone better than you out there you understand in anything it's that then how much to see practice kitni kiti hai what can you do hai na kitne thonu knowledge hai who would you say is a better singer out of the two would it would it be yourself or jazzy if you put yourself jazzy bhi main na bahut jyada badhiya i like to thank everyone you know who supported my music and my singing and i, I hope i can do something better you know i'm just trying man like i says uh, uh, there's no this i mean you have goals in your life but uh, it takes time to achieve them you know and it's, it's just hard work because i don't think pangra music just be for punjabi it should be music for everyone to hear you know and uh, all over the world you know I appreciate any music here yeah. it could be Spanish even if I don't if I don't understand the lyrics I still love the music you know because I know what's going on you know what they're doing is so melody is melody at any day so we're just trying to break uh, you know I mean just different audience man get the music Punjabi music as for a represent you know Punjabi culture and I like to say to the youngsters keep it alive because this culture is so great and there's nothing like this in the world you know any culture you got to keep it alive because that's what we are and that's what I represent you know te ek jo geet main pagdi de upar gayo main do bol thonu sunaunga jo mainu bahut vadiya lagda chal man singh tande da likha sheeshe agge khare sarok rok ke ban da e pag bari thok thok ke pitawar ya putwar te pitawar ya putwar te parwar war ta sara ਸੌਖੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਗੀ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਏ ਪਗੜੀ ਸਰਦਾਰਾ ਸੋ ਆਨ ਥਿਸ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਗੋਡ ਬਲੈਸ ਐਵਰੀਵਨ ਲੁੱਕ ਆਫਟਰ ਯੂਰਸੈਲਵਸ ਲੁੱਕ ਆਫਟਰ ਯੂਰ 